The shale gas revolution has transformed the North American energy market, helping to slash prices for industry and consumers while reducing reliance on imported gas. But it is not just the US and Canada where shale gas can be found in abundance. Large reserves could also be lying deep underground, right here in Poland. Behind me stands a rig owned by Peganigia, the Polish gas monopoly. They're drilling more than four kilometers underground to see if shale gas can be found in commercial quantities. The issue is very controversial, but if the gas is there, it'll have profound political and economic consequences for Poland. Peganiga is leading the hunt for Polish shale gas, with more than 10 concessions already being explored and many more planned. Its chief executive says early estimates indicate the presence of industrial quantities of shale gas. We've got assessments being done by uh, Polish Institute for uh, Geology, uh, which is uh, between 350 billion cubic meters to seven, uh, 700 million, uh, billion cubic meters. So it's uh, huge, actually. Um, uh, these, are, these reserves are huge, uh, just in comparison with our yearly consumption, which is 15 uh, BCM. As well as potentially providing cheaper gas for homes and businesses, the impact on the wider economy could also be huge. The prospect of large shale gas deposits has brought a rush of foreign energy companies, particularly from the US and Canada, who lead the way in shale gas technology and expertise. I think it will reinvent the way that Poland uses energy, and more importantly, it will, will stimulate the economy for the long term. Uh, it will generate uh, a huge amount of jobs, a huge amount of, a huge amount of industry, and will bring uh, cheap, low-risk energy to, to Poland and indeed Western Europe. But for Poles, the biggest attraction of shale gas is political rather than economic. Poland currently pays a high price for the 10 billion cubic meters it buys every year from Russia via state-controlled Gazprom. Shale gas offers Poland not just wealth, but also the tantalizing prospect of energy independence. We need, in fact, we need two preconditions. Good connection with, the, uh, with other systems, with other grids in Europe, Germans, Slovaks, Czechs, uh, and of course own gas, which is, as a rule, much more cheaper than any imported gas. So whenever and if we start any new negotiations with any other partner, including Gazprom, then our position is, will be much better. Much better. This is nothing to, to, to doubt about. But the road to becoming a gas power is a long one. Poland has to create a new regulatory and tax structure and find the billions of euros needed to complete the exploration. Even then, the benefits could be less than optimists have hoped. We can see that the foreign investors are not as enthusiastic about the shale gas extraction production in Poland as they used to be. And, and we see that there is a lot of problems with the legislative framework as well. So there is a promise uh, that comes with shale gas, but we, we see that there is a lot of challenges as well. Yet the combination of economics and politics has helped make shale gas very popular in Poland. Opinion polls show almost three quarters of Poles back the drive, much higher than in other European countries such as the UK and France. There, environmental concerns about the cocktail of chemicals and the huge amount of water used in the extraction process, known as fracking, have damped enthusiasm. Enormous amounts of water with sand and toxic chemicals are used to kind of push out uh, shale gas from the source. So local people are very much concerned about uh, their water. If they still have water available, if the water will um, remain in good quality, and usually investors are not answering these questions. If things go well, Polish shale gas could be flowing by the end of the decade, providing cheaper energy, much needed jobs, and some handy ammunition when it comes to renegotiating its contract with Gazprom in 2022. In 10 or 15 years, this area could be crisscrossed with rigs and pipelines. That may not please all the locals, but it could free Poland of its energy dependence on Russia. And for many in this country, that would be a price worth paying. This is Jan Czenski for the Financial Times in Northern Poland.